Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today I have for you an action haul. Again, maybe? I don't know. I don't know when the last time is I uh, put up on this channel, as in the English videos. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not making any sense. But uh, I just actually filmed a uh, first impression try on of action makeup. Uh, that was in Polish, but I'm gonna tell you my first impressions, what I think. I'm gonna show you the makeup I picked up, so you also get a bit of insights about that. Um, it was better than I expected. That's kind of like my conclusion. Okay, let's start with the makeup then. Uh, and with the order of how I applied things. So first of all, I actually found a Max Factor foundation that was uh, like a stick foundation that was uh, in action and it's like this part is a stick foundation and this is supposed to be like a kind of like a primer thing but my problem here is you can see it like it's breaking apart and I wasn't sure if it's the bronzer or the foundation but I think it's the foundation to be honest um, I don't know I'm still gonna try it out uh, obviously more time than just today but uh, first impression, I am not sure. It was very easy to work with because it's very mm, like emollient. But then again, I have oily skin or mixed skin. Uh, and I think that's maybe not the ideal one for me. But maybe for dry skin, it would be great. But yeah, I don't know. When it comes to the prices of makeup, uh, the most expensive thing was... $2.99 and that's exactly that uh, that foundation so just so you know next thing is a concealer and that's $1.19 and that's the concealer uh, honestly it looks alright so far uh, again I don't know how it's gonna really hold up but also like the shade match was also quite okay for me uh, but yeah, of course, I just tried them on, so if you want more updates, uh, you can always follow me on Instagram and then I'm probably gonna mention things that I liked or disliked or whatever. Or just subscribe here and then at some point I'll mention it. And if I don't, remind me. Okay, then I used this brow pencil. By the way, they all come in like boxes. Obviously I ripped it all, but it's all um, secure, so definitely no one else touched it. Uh, so yeah, brow pencil, um, mine is in the shade, I think, dark brown. It could be more cool toned, to be honest. Let me, no, let me fix this brow. It could be more cool toned, but it's not bad. And it's also like retractable, that's a plus. Um, so yeah, not bad. Then I tried the eyeshadow palette. Uh, I chose this color version. Um, this color, yeah. That's how it looks. It has this little thingy that I'm never gonna use probably. But it has it. I used these three shades for my eyes today. And actually also this one for transition. So again, it's not looking bad. Like I didn't expect it for how much is this palette? One ninety-five. I mean, then the bronzer that I mentioned because I didn't know this is very glowy. Also, it's a really big bronzer. It's very glowy, and I was scared to use it, but it, it's looking okay. Uh, again, the foundation underneath is breaking apart, but I think it's the foundation's fault, not the bronzers. And then lastly of makeup, I have a lip liner, which again is quite nice. Uh, I have it in the shade Dusty Rose, I think. Um, Rusty Rose, sorry. That's what I have on my lips. And on top I have this Maybelline lipstick, uh, satin version, 235 Pink Salt. This one is like more browny, so I have a little bit uh, just on top. That's the combo. So one more product that's like cosmetic uh, is this sunscreen, like a tiny sunscreen. Uh, I just took it because I'm like, it's nice to have in the purse, but now I'm not sure if it's gonna close. I might ha have it in a plastic bag just in case. SPF 50, uh, if it's good, honestly, I don't know, but I'm only gonna 
use it when I have to. Definitely not on my face because I don't trust it. But it's made in uh, Holland, I think. So should be okay. Okay, so let's uh, move away from makeup, and I'm gonna first show you some office slash hobby stuff. First of all, maybe boring, but I needed some uh, like it's called punched pockets. They're for like documents basically, and I chose the ones that are more like. Um, it's called glass clear. There's less of them in the pack. These are 20, not 25, but I feel like they're more sturdy. Like these things, I think they're more sturdy because I have the other version from Action. It got a bit dark. I, I have the other version from uh, Action, and I think it's um, it's ripping like in my folder. So yeah, two of those. And then one of like hobby crafts creative paper collection it's called. Basically what's here is first you have like wrapping paper which is falling out for some reason so I'm gonna skip that. Then we have loads of different uh, pattern paper. This one's like more party themed. Postcard thingies which I already cut one out because I need it for my uh, vision board. That's actually behind me on the closet. Uh, so that's really cool. More like smaller things like this. So yeah, if you're journaling or if you have a scrapbook, this is just perfect, you know? And it's uh, probably like, oh, like two euro or something, some gift tags or whatever. This one is more like celebration uh, themed. And of course, loads of stickers and some more papers, even like, um, uh, coloring thing page. <laughs> so yeah, uh, let me check how much this was. Yeah, it's two euro without one cent, and this is ninety five cents for one pack. Okay, and then uh, I'm gonna show you this thing that was one forty eight, and that's basically like um. Glass candy jar, it's called. I was thinking maybe like for cotton rounds or just for pictures as a prop. Uh, I could always use more of those trinkets, if you will. So I got that. Am I, I have lipstick on my teeth? No, I don't. So yeah, 148. Yeah, 148. Okay, and then I got, I think that was the most expensive thing I got. This was like, what, 4 euro? Uh, 4.99 but I heard from Polish YouTube that this is really great candle and it's a dupe for the Woodwick candle which is called Treewick of course so this is supposed to be like crackling as well it smells really nice of vanilla I actually might burn it tonight it's Saturday so I might do like a cozy night so there's that then I got those um, cans it's actually for my brother because we're gonna put like a leaf tea uh, in here because uh, he was looking for a new storage solution and I found these and they were like one euro each so either we're gonna just throw the um, leaves in here or what I probably am gonna suggest uh, is just put the bag because I know how the bag looks so it's just gonna fit perfectly and then it's like twice as isolated and looks nice you know so I got two of those, I would have bought for myself as well, but this is not my house, so I don't know how my house will look, so I can't decorate it yet. So I'm decorating my brother's house, with his like consent and like he knows, like I asked him which one he wants and if he wants it. Anyway, uh, then I got a fly swatter, uh, I got one of those actually again for my brother um, last year. And then I was like, damn it, why didn't I buy one for us? <laughs> so uh, I saw that they're back, so I got one. Then I got just some cleaning cloths, just basic cleaning cloths. I actually never tried these, but Vileda is a good brand in general. So I wanted to, to try um, this one, see how it, how it works, basically. Some cleaning cloths are better than others. I definitely noticed that. So we'll check it out. Um, they were 139 
So, I mean, and then 444 is the Swiffer uh, Duster Set Kit. And I actually bought a Swiffer like a week before I went to action. But I got one, it's probably on the floor. Wait a second. I got one that has like this short um, handle. And then I saw in action that they have the one that's like telescopic. So I'm like, great. It's gonna be a great addition to our cleaning stash. Yep. Okay, that was it. I hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know if you have any must-haves from action uh, or if you would like to see more of hauls or just like me showing you what's in the stores. Let me know. I do want to do like a try and snacks from action. I might maybe do it with my brother if he's gonna be up for it. Cause I know he likes to try his, like food, but I need to ask him about that. Anyway, I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.